Hello everyone, this is Nelson from the technical marketing team. In my last video, I showed how to use NetBackup APIs to protect VMware. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to roll back multiple virtual machines using APIs. And this could be especially useful in a Hamsover recovery scenario where you need to perform the rollback of various VMs back to the point before when the Hamsover attack occurred. To perform this demo, I'll be using a NetBackup 9.1 environment, Ansible Tower, formerly AWX, to orchestrate the workflows, and the Tower CLI to monitor the jobs. This demo comprises of only one workflow. First, let's check if we have a recovery point for each VM. Let's go to the VMware tab and search for the VMs we want to recover. Okay, we can see that we have successful backups for these VMs. Let's check the recovery point. I'll select one of them. And I'll go to the recovery points tab. We have two recovery points. I could restore them using the recover menu and shown here, but I would have to do this for each VM, and I want to use the APIs to restore all 10 VMs at once. So now I'll switch to the AWS console, and I'll launch a job template that will restore all the VMs. We can check the details to make sure we launch the correct template, hit launch, and here on inventory, we choose the project that we want to apply this template to. Hit next, and now I'll provide the list of the VMs I want to roll back. Hit next, and launch. Okay, the playbook is running. Now let's see its progress using the Tower CLI. Okay, the restore process has started. And while it's running, you can go back to the Net Backup Web UI and check the status of the jobs on the Activity Monitor. We can also go to the vSphere client and see the status on the bottom window. As the Ansible Playbook runs, more VMs are being automatically recovered. We have five VMs being recovered so far. Now we have six, seven, eight, nine. There's one more left. Okay, the last one. You can see some of the jobs already finished. Let's just wait all the jobs to finish. Okay, they're all done. Let's check the tower CLI. As expected, the job finished successfully. Now we can see on the vSphere client that all VMs will roll back and they're up and running. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to use NetBackup APIs to roll back multiple VM or virtual machines.